Hi, and welcome to a new uh, Rad Palace series where we play Yu-Gi-Oh! We haven't come up with a name for it, so I haven't named it. Yu-Gi-Oh! We'll just call it that series where we play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a catchy title. It is, and it's uh, it's accurate to what's happening. So, we will be playing through all of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! games that came out in English, because I'm not playing Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not... It's not happening ever. I might record some Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh. You could do whatever the fuck you want, but I'm I'm not doing that shit. You, so you... this is this is a Yu-Gi-Oh Dark Duel Stories for the Game Boy Color. Yeah, if you bought this game, um, you got some hot um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like limited edition ones. You got that with every Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, I'm just saying. I've never bought a Yu-Gi-Oh game that didn't come with cards. I've never bought a Yu-Gi-Oh game. That's a lie. I've bought several. So, if you're not, like, into the deep Yu-Gi-Oh mythos, um, it's a card game where you use cards. It is a card game. And you battle. Oh, so uh, if they're set to the side, they're in defense position? Yep, and if they're facing forward, they're in attack mode. Uh, we're not going to explain the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh, because that's, like, four hours in, in and of itself. But you can see, like, if your attack's greater than the defense, you can do damage, I think. That's how it works. Uh, or you kill so the thing. Right. So, if they're in defense mode... Here we go, I'm going to explain the rules now. <laughs> <laughs> right after <laughs> saying we're not, here we go. <laughs> yep, you, you've brought it out of me. If they're in defense mode and you attack, you only destroy it. If your attack is greater than their defense. But if they're in attack mode and your attack is greater than their attack, you destroy them and they lose life points oh, okay. equal to the difference. God, this is all coming back to me, man. Yu-Gi-Oh is pretty awesome. It is. I I still play Yu-Gi-Oh. I just bought a, a DS game recently. Nerd. Yeah, I am. Fuck you. So am I. Um, that, that's the big shocking reveal to our listeners. If, like, doing <laughs> videos on Color Dinosaur didn't tip them off, we're kind of nerds. To be fair, that was completely your idea. It was a, I wanted no part in just that. Just wait until we get, get back around to it. <laughs> oh, fuck. We're going for... Oh... <laughs> I just, yeah, hmm. That was, that, that's like three years away. I'm fine. Yeah, you're good. Um, so, like, the thing I really like about Yu-Gi-Oh! is, like, I love the card designs, and it's really cool getting to see them, like, kind of in these pixelated versions of them, you know, because they had to yeah, do a lot look, of art for these games. But they look terrible in games like this. I think they have their charm. Like, in the DS when I'm playing, there's, like, a 3D model of the... Oh, no uh, shit. Yeah, oh. the card that appears. You know, like how in the first season, did you ever watch the anime? Yeah, oh, hell yeah, yeah. So you know, in the anime, like they put the card down and then like the the sort of holograph appears. Yeah. The hologram, it's like <sighs> that. And they're in three. Oh wait, or is this DS or 3DS? It's DS. Ah. It's, it's DS. So it's like you know, DS 3D ish. And you know what? This is this series will all lead up to that new Yu-Gi-Oh game because. I am... Yeah, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Yeah. I think I'm going to be reviewing that, so we should have a... I can do video for that hot... hotness. Oh, I'll be getting that as well. We can dole. Welcome to yeah, our... We welcome to Rad Palace's Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, where all we do <laughs> is post Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. I'd probably do a lot better than all of our current videos, Nathan. It probably would. This video's gonna somehow do really well because it's Yu-Gi-Oh. People love Yu-Gi-Oh. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Seven Z's. Is that a series? That's something like that. No. It's something. Five D's. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so it goes Yu-Gi-Oh, which is the one with Yu-Gi and Joey and Kaiba. Uh, there's the pocket capsule monsters. Nobody remembers that. I do. Shut up. I do. Well, I wish you'd shut up about fucking capsule monsters. Did we beat Tristan? Uh, we did. Oh, we get the battle the cute girl. Taya. Taya. And then there was uh, GX, which was Jaden, Cyrus, and some other fuckers. Then there was 5Ds. Yeah. Oh, Joey's the best. Then there was Zexo. Look at the blue-eyed white dragon, or the red-eyed black dragon. That's red-eyed black dragon. Same diff. No, because blue-eyes is Kyber's, and he's all uh, fucking... Then what's Yugi's? Um, the dark magician? Yeah, dark magician. Right. I thought he had the white-eyed dragon, for some reason. No, his grandpa had one. Oh, and then... The, the plot of the first episode is Yugi's grandpa has one. 
and Kaiba wants it. So he basically kidnaps Yugi's grandpa and beats the shit out of him and steals Which it. Which is pretty cool. And then he rips it up. Also pretty cool. Because he has three, and there's only four in the world. Also pretty cool. And he has the only three other three left. I don't know why he didn't just keep it and have four. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, you didn't really think that one out. <laughs> it's, it's Kaiba. He's too busy being cool to actually think through his actions. <laughs> yeah. And he has a fucking... Have you ever seen the movie where he has a jet that's in the ship of a blue eyes white dragon? No, but that sounds pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> it is. I gotta say, I was wondering who the character Brit was, but then I realized that it was probably you. Yeah, that's me. It's like, man, I don't remember him from the anime. He's this guy in a top hat, and uh, he just stands around with a monocle and eats crumpets all the time. You don't have any cool cards yet. I know it's because you're in the beginning of the game, but these are all kind of like... Yeah. I just have all the cards that the game gave me. You only get cards by winning, oh. and it's, it's just so boring, this game. Because you didn't have the red-eyed black dragon? Yeah, because all I had was some fucking... Turrupur. <laughs> Turrupur. And fucking Bladefly, whatever the fuck that is. Look, it's Gale Dog. Hey, Gale Dog's pretty solid. And Air Mom, and Mountain. Okay, Mountain's a pretty cool character. None of them are cool. They're all pieces of shit. But are they really? Yes. Look, Hainhan. Hainhan. Why the fuck are we here? This sounds like we're playing a Vietnamese version of this. It does. <laughs> we probably are. Are, they, are these like the legit names for these characters? Yeah, but it's because fucking the screen's so small, it couldn't fit all the names. So it's on. not just Shadow S. No, it's like uh, Shadow Spectre. Uh, I liked it better. Well, that's Time Wizard. Time Wizard was just there for a second, but it's called Time Wiz. Which is which is admittedly cooler than Time Wizard. But they couldn't fucking fit the word Time Wizard in their stupid little box, so it just says Time Wiz. I think this is a pretty solid game for its time. I played a lot of it. I remember distinctly. I didn't get into Yu-Gi-Oh! until like the Game Boy Advance sort of era. I was all Pokemon back in Game Boy Color This days. was a very late uh, Game Boy Color game, if I remember correctly. Oh, I probably didn't even have a Game Boy Color then. I probably had moved over to the GBA like all the other cool kids. Yeah, but if you wanted some hot, sweet Yu-Gi-Oh! action, you had to color it up. The best Yu-Gi-Oh! game to me is on the GBA. We'll get to it eventually, and I'll tell you when we get to it. Alright. But my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! game is on the GBA. A little tease for the viewer. In fact, we, it might be the next one we do. I don't know. I, I, I haven't had a look at the list inside. Pick this one. Did you ever play the PS1 one? Yep. That's that a bad a game. Yep. Shit. That game is fucking awful. Yep. We're not doing that one, by the way. A, because we have no way to record it. No, we might. Who knows? B, I'm not recording it. If you want to record it, you go right the fuck You ahead. go, girl. I'm not touching that piece of shit ever again. I own that game on disc, and I hate myself for it. Yeah, I always thought I was missing half of it, because it came in like a, a dull disc case, but the game was only one disc, and I still have no clue why they, it came in a dull disc. Because it was the shittiest game ever, and nobody gave a I shit. I guess Konami had, like, extra, like, dull discs laying around, and we were like, oh, might as well put Actually, this game in. Well, all the all the console Yu-Gi-Oh games are really fucking weird. All the handheld ones are awesome, and all the console ones. Did you ever play that PS2 one that was, like, Duelist of the Roses? Uh, no, I was out of Yu-Gi-Oh by then. It was set in, like, Tudor, England, and it wasn't a card game. It was like a chess game, but you... It was oh, yeah, weird. I remember that, yeah. It was fucking bizarre. So, yeah, all the console games are shit. The handheld ones are good. Especially when they have Gale Dog. Yep, good old Gale Dog. And Mech Mall. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a mall. That's my guess. No, it's not. It's mall. It's mech mall. The mall mall. The mall. The mall. The mall mech. Look, it's muck a muck. 
So there's different card types? Uh, yeah, there's normal monsters, which uh, just, you know, attack and stuff. And then there's effect monsters, who have each have different special effects. Do the types matter? Like, the it's I saw it was like Earth, Wind, Fiend. Uh, there were like, so there were magic and trap cards as well. And they have effects that can affect, like, certain types. Like, there'll be certain magic cards that only affect Earths or whatever. It looks like he's about ready to die here, Nathan. You're going to reign yep. supreme here. Yep, I beat Joey Wheeler. Congrats. And we'll be ending here because I don't want to play any more of this. Uh, thanks for watching our first episode of our Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Uh, we'll be back with another game. Fucking Phantom Thief! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah!